Hello and welcome to a new episode of Trains app. Uh, I couldn't even get that one right. And uh, today you join me at Oxford on the Cherwell Valley line, where you're seeing services from Chilton Railways, Cross Country, Grobberston Railway, and with any luck, a little bit of freight as well. Near enough for Dundon going on the rush hour title, seeing as we're knocking on the door of six o'clock, seeing as uh, I got stuck in roadworks for the best part of half an hour. So um, that's all jolly exciting. So down there is one of the uh, the Great Western turbos. You've then got uh, one of the Clubmans there for Chiltern Railways. There's uh, one of those, is it, is it a 769? One of the um, converted 319s down there. There's another 166 down there, and there's a 800 of some variation down there as well. And I think that just about covers it for the moment, so um, let's see what else shall turn up. All right then, our first train of the day is going to be the 1755 Great Western Railway service from Digcock Parkway to Banbury, worked by 165125. Complete with a thumbs up from the driver, so all is well. And the driver also has a beard, so therefore the world is a much safer place. You can trust people with beards, it's just a thing. As I have a beard myself, therefore you can trust me. I wouldn't, I, 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 don't, I don't trust me, but you can trust me because that's just how these things work. And also coming in will be a terminating Chiltern Railway service from London Marylebone. In relative theory, once that pulls in, the one adjacent to me should leave. In theory. Yes, you can make as much noise as you want over there. So, working away will be 168 217. It's interesting, it's uh, had the main line uh, decals removed. So all it just says in there is just Chiltern Railways by Arriva. But if you do look closely, you can see where the main line logos used to reside. Marvellous work. I may as well have not bothered as now departing is going to be the 1757 Chiltern Railway service to London Marylebone. As incoming will be a Groveston Railway Class 800 that will be working a service uh, starting here at Oxford to London Paddington. Plenty of people on board. And that is worked by 168005. As now coming in is going to be a high speed cucumber in the form of 800035. First calling point after this will be Reading, and it will get into Reading at 18.02, then at 1828 into Slough, and then are you going to tell me when you get into London? Nope, you're not going to tell me when you get into London. All right, never mind. And she stops now? No? How about now? No? How about yeah, now? No? Okay, we're going to just keep on rolling, that's fine. And now she stops, excellent. Okay, just for now is the 1802 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. The uh, little boards on the side uh, displaying what time it gets into certain stations is misleading. It actually gets into Reading at 1828, then it gets into Slough, I think, 1846. 
Something along those lines. Okay, our first freight train of the day is going to be a Freightliner 66, giving it uh, certainly what for from Southampton to Lawley Street. Coming through just over an hour and a half late. Got a belter! By 66 515 with a cracking time from the driver there. Thank you, Carney, sir. Absolute belter it was. As now coming in will be a uh, Great Western Railway service to start a service. Presumably it's going to. Hmm. I would imagine that's going to run a shuttle to Didcot. I can't imagine. I can't see. I like the word imagine, don't I? Word of the day, imagine. I can't think that it would do anything other than a shuttle from here to Dickhop Parkway, but it's 165127. Could do with a bit of a clean on the underside, but aside from that, not bad. And she'll stop at some stage. Okay, the next train to make an appearance will be the 1816 Cross Country Voyager service from Manchester Piccadilly to Reading. If I didn't say the time, it's the 1817 departure. If I did say it, then I'll just repeat it because, you know, why wouldn't you? So, cresting the brow is 220.024 with 220.017 bringing up the rear. A bit squeaky on the rear there, but it's not the worst I've ever had. It sounds like a dog whining and a pigeon because why wouldn't you? Again, our spotting is 165126 with an ECS to the sidings behind me, having brought a local shuttle service in from Dickhop Parkway. So at some stage I'll then be doing a service to Dickhop Parkway. So I'll come back in a couple of hours, 20 minutes time. Uh, so we've also passed the 18th 17. Doing about turn. Oh, oh hello. No, we've got um, our Chilton Railway service heading off to London Marrow Road. That one caught me off. And that was one six eight two seventeen heading off. Right to Barton now is the eighteen sixteen uh, cross country service to Reading. That one only calls up Reading. Okay, down in the distance is going to be the 1825, Great Western Railway service from London Paddington to Hereford.
nice squeaky brakes. I shall get the number for you uh, when she departs. Um, so Doing about turn and down there is another Great Western Railway service. It'll be working the 1832 from Great Malvern to London Paddington. Um, this one stops at it's the one that goes down the from it goes on the Snow Hill line down the Cotswolds line. So I'm pretty sure Great Marvin's on the Snow Hill line. So this is eight hundred zero two four. Fair few people on board. Nice squeaky brakes. Okay, to now is the 1825 Great Western Railway service to Hereford. This is worked by 802 004. Sounds like there's a bit of a flat wheel on that rear bogey. Okay, the next train to make an appearance will be a DB Cargo UK Class 66 going from Southampton West Docks Berth 109 to Wakefield Europort. I believe this is one of the Maritime 66s. That is certainly um, a not going at a breakneck speed, but it will be nice to see nevertheless, because I haven't seen one of the maritime ones for a, a jolly old while. 66, 148. Maritime intermodal, 7. Flat wheel in there. As we also have coming in a terminating Chiltern Railway service from London Marylebone. Works by 165002. Okay, coming back in now is the return of 165126. This will then be working a service to Dickwood Parkway, but I can't for the love of me remember what time it was supposed to be. 1836. That's the kitty, 1836. Okay, now coming in is 165126. That's the turn. This will be working the 1836 to Dickwood Parkway. There's going to be a lot of people getting on that. Something tells me that is going to be a crammed service. And another pigeon, because, again, pigeons just seem to want to get in my films. 
In other news, hot air balloon. Minding my own business, and uh, that just suddenly pops up out of nowhere. So there we are then. That's um. Uh, completely unrelated note. Here's it's a hot air just view. yeah. I don't, I don't, it's not going to be a new scary. series, don't worry, I'm not going to do Rush Hour Balloons out, because that's... I can't see that taking on too much, but, um... Yeah, superb. The okay, the next train to make an appearance will be a Freightliner 70, not going at breakneck speeds, but she'll be working a heavily loaded container train from Lawley Street to Southampton. Looks like it's 70019 for the honours for this one. Sounds nice under power. Yes, I definitely approve. Of course, what you want is that light just to suddenly change, just to amber, just so she, the, uh, the driver can give her the beans, so she gets a chance to clear her throat. Wait for the squeaky brakes. Oh no, there's the there's the amber. So that'll be good. Power is applied. We've also got a cross country boy here. The clag commence. Away she goes. Plenty of variety in uh, length and height of the containers on this contest. One of those refrigerated containers on there as well. Don't often see them. As also now coming in is the 1840 cross country service from Bournemouth to Manchester Piccadilly. Leading the way is a rather scruffy looking 220015. And the rear set I will get uh, when she duly departs, with the entire platform getting up to, uh, to board this service. It's going to be very busy. Okay, it's part of now is the 1840 cross country service to Manchester Piccadilly. One one two eight, bringing up the rear. Certainly not hanging about, that's for sure. Okay, coming in is the 1848 Great Western Railway service from London Paddington to Worcester Fourgate Street. We'll explain one of the more lengthier members of the Great Western family. So gliding her way in is going to be 800 318. A little bit squeaky, but not the worst sound in the world. Okay, twice and now is the 1848 Great Western Railway service to Worcester Fourgate Street. I love the acceleration of those units. That was rattling, but I hope it's not rattling a bit. Am I the only one that heard that? It seems to be rattling a bit in the middle. Okay, the next train to make appearance will be a terminating Chiltern Railway service from London Marylebone with a rather scruffy looking 168112 leading proceedings.
with an even scruffier at uh, the front of that as well, 168109. Not looking too too clever at the back with uh, it's someone's nibbled its uh, left buttock. There's a little bit of a gap missing in there. That'll then run ECS to a siding just down there before coming back up to work a service to London Marylebone. We're going to Varding is 165002 with the 1856 Chiltern Railway service to London Marylebone. As our pair of 168s are headed off to the sidings. Alright then, the next train to make a bit of a racket will be the 1902 Great Western Railway service from Worcester Fourgate Street to London Paddington. This is worked by 80004. Not a huge busting amount of people on board. Marvellous. Okay, the next train to arrive will be the 1906 Great Western Railway service working the shuttle from Banbury to Didcot Parkway. It's one six five one two five. And then we're going to have a duo of Freight and Other Class 66s coming through, going from Southampton to, I believe, Lawley Street. No, I was wrong. Oh, no, there's one from... No, that's right. Moron. Yes. Yeah, right, anyway, try again. Southampton to Crewbass Hall is this particular working, with two 66s. Give me what, four, five, six, six. And five, nine, one. Decent speed, fully loaded, and plenty of uh, refrigerated containers on there as well. So that'll probably sit in Crewbass Hall for a couple of hours, as there's a heron. Probably end up taking a... You'll probably find a couple of 90s will take that up into uh, Cope Bridge, I would imagine. Well, it could be uh, Cobridge or um, Ormos End, whichever one takes its fancy, but I imagine that's what will probably happen. Okay, heading off to the sidings will be a Great Western Railway Thames Turbo Unit, having just made a uh, stop here at Oxford with a terminating service from Ducot Parkway, so this is 165127. That will then come back at some stage to work a service to Didcot Parkway. 
I really made that introduction incredibly long-winded. I could have just said now is heading wow, try again. Do you know what? I'm just not gonna bother. Just roll with it, it's fine. Okay, the next train to arrive is going to be the 1915 Great Western Railway service from London Paddington to Banbury. As that magpie is having an identity crisis. It seems to believe it's a train. As you do. Anyway, working this service is going to be... Oh, it's 800 302. Uh, this first two carriages completely empty. Not a soul on board there. There's a dude, oh no, there's a, there's a young lady that's got up in front of me. Okay, it's part of now is the 1915 Great Western Railway service to Banbury. Again, our departing is going to be the 1922 Great Western Railway service from Dickhop Parkway to Banbury. Almost acts as a completely pointless service, but there we are. <laughs> Especially since it's chasing that one worked by the 800. And this is worked by 165126. And the driver's either trying to do some sort of piano recital, or he's treating the uh, the, <laughs> the dashboard of the train like a tambourine. Okay, coming in now is going to be the 1927 Shilton Railway service from here to London Marylebone. Worked by our duo of 168. So 168 to 109 is now leading proceedings. As we do in about turn to find coming in just shy of 10 minutes late will be the 1916 cross country service from Manchester Piccadilly to Bournemouth worked by a singular 221 Super Voyager. Two two one one three five. Okay, now it's parting is the 1927 Chiltern Railway service to London Marylebone. They sound so nice. Then 112 brings up the rear. Okay, and I think that's parting is the 1916 cross country service to Bournemouth.
running now 12 minutes late. Okay, the next range of packet of pins will be the 1932 Great Western Railway service from Worcester Fourgate Street to London Paddington. As our magpie with the identity crisis is back on the rails. This is worked by 800 008. Marvellous. Okay, now departing is the 1932 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. Love the little lip just over the bridge. Okay, coming in now will be a Great Western Railway service to form the... Blimey. 1936 Great Western Railway service to Dickhot Parkway. Worked by 165.127. And a momentary blip of the old brain box there. Okay, the next range of making appearance will be another Freightliner 66, one of the uh, 66s in the Genesee and Wyoming colour scheme, working a lightly loaded container train from Leeds Freightliner Terminal to Southampton. Sixty-six four fifteen. You are never alone. As also coming in is the 1939 cross country service from Bournemouth to Manchester Piccadilly. Leading proceedings will be 220.017. You can see there just how lightly loaded this container train is. It will make a profit, but uh, it's not going to be making an obscene amount of money. Okay, departure now is the 1939 cross country service to Manchester Piccadilly. It's actually working from Reading, not Bournemouth. And two twenty zero two four brings up the rear. Okay, the next train to make an appearance will be the 1945 Great Western Railway service from London Paddington to Hereford. The LEDs shining bright.
Okay, so working our way down is going to be 802 101. The going to pass now is the 1935, 1945 even, Groveston Railway service to Hereford. Oh, Nancy Astor, apparently. Is there a little nameplate on the rear of that? Okay, our final train of the day is going to be a terminating Great Western Railway service from Morton in Marsh. Worked by 165119. And as she slowly works her way towards the buffers, I shall leave it there. Thank you all very much for watching, it is greatly appreciated. If you have enjoyed what you've seen today, then please do like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment, I do go back to them as and when I get the opportunity to. Well, another successful uh, partial rush hour film done here at Oxford. Uh, if I'd have got here sooner, I would have seen a rainbow GBRF 66 with an engineering train from Scunthorpe to Eastleigh holding a load of new rails. But uh, sadly, I missed that one. But uh, no, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable. It's always an amazing station to come to. Uh, my next rush hour film is going to be from Bletchley on the West Coast Main Line. Then after that, it'll be Milton Keynes Central on the West Coast Main Line. And then after that, I'll be going to... Where will I go to? I'll go to Wellen Green, I think, is it? Is it Wellen Green? I'm sure that's the one. Wellen, Wellen Green? I'm sure it's that. On the East Coast Main Line. So those are the next three uh, on the rush hour side of life. So, until next time, from me here at Oxford, I shall see you all later. Take care, guys. Goodbye.